Super Reaction Bros. I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we are taking a look at the official U.S. trailer for Fisherman's Friends. This stars James Purefoy, best known for his work as a psychotic serial killer on the Fox series The Following. May it rest in peace. Did he pass away? No, I'm talking about the show. Oh yeah, may may he rest in peace. The may the may show, show rest in peace. peace. For, yeah. So this is a rather interesting plot. So basically, ten fishermen get together and sing sea shanties, and they're popular enough to where they become they they achieve a top ten hit yeah. with an album with sea shanties. Yeah, and and it's basically you said was it based is based on a true story. Apparently, it's based on a true story. So. And also, apparently, this movie's already getting a sequel coming out next year. Wow, that's fast. That's well, really fast. the film originally came out in the UK. I'm assuming the UK. Last year, probably. Uh, last year. Uh, we're just now getting it, so. Maybe it's another group they're following. Who knows? So let's dive into this. The boy band equivalent. Oh, God. The K-pop Fisherman Shi Shanti version. Let's dive into this for the official US trailer for Fisherman's Friends. So here we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I'm interested in representing you. You've got a unique sound. And we believe we can help you get it released by a major label. I'm serious. Jago said there may be room at the end. Mom, the tosser's at the door. The tosser's at the door. Sorry I'm late. I just went down to agree. Anything else? Never say the word rabbit. Rabbit? collection of like films like these where it's like it, there's a hard you know even if it's not true on a true story yeah. there's still some the type of like you know it doesn't have to be musical but something that like they've done where if it's maybe it's a dance number or maybe it's something else but it's like these heartfelt films where it's just like oh that's not bad you know and and from the states it's that it pretty much it's, it was this was a hit in the uk for this film mm -hmm. see that's why you know we could tell it's getting you know why it's probably getting the sequel uh, we don't know, maybe the sequel's following the same guys, maybe following up where they're at now type of thing, or maybe it's just, you know, now it's just another made-up store, or maybe another one, you know, maybe on another di different type of group type of thing. You know, you never know. But... Or it could be one of those, um... I haven't seen it in a while, but, like, like a sequel where the popularity goes through their heads and they have to find themselves again. Oh, God, don't remind me. Yeah, those ones, I just, I'm not too fond of. Yeah, that's what probably the sequel's gonna be. Yeah, but, um, no, I, th but it's, this is something I would love to watch. I, I don't know why I it, love watching it. It feels, it feels warm. Yeah. It, that's it the feels, best way to describe it. One and, more, and, warm. and if you've seen some of our reactions to, like, other trailers similar to these, we, it's always the same thing. We always say the same thing, which is that it very, it always feels very heartwarming or just, it's very heart, you can just feel the heart in this. And that's what this is. And it's just, Again, it's, uh, even they're just like, we just sing shanties, you know, the yeah. old, old seamen, the old fishermen's shanties, you know, from back, way back in the 1700s, yeah. you know, but it's like, 
But I think it's just a, you know just the, them coming together and just enjoying it themselves. I think that's what really grabbed people's attention because it's like, oh, I like that. It's it's not too bad, you know. Um, and, and again, I would love to watch this, and I would love to have a collection of like films that are like closely like almost not related to this one exactly, but just. It, you know it, the way they are, the way they're set up, where it's like you you feel that heart. It doesn't have to be a smash hit. It's just like it, it's just a story that's being told, and I don't know. I just I would I would love to have that. And, you know this that's what it felt from here, and it looks it really looks like it's very interesting. This guy's just trying everything. they like you know they you know he wants to keep them still themselves. You know he still wants to and even they're like we just want to do what we enjoy doing, which is fishing. Like I said, it feels like warm. Yeah. yeah. Warm, heartfelt, like, kind of film. I think people would enjoy overall. Yeah, I mean, and I, I would, I think, I, I mean, I, I, that's why I said, I think I see why it was such a hit in the in the UK and stuff like that. Here in the US, that's a different story. So, other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like it just a little bit more than anybody else, when it comes to talking about people who sing sea shanties, Hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Play Assassin's Creed Black Flag and just hear all those shanties. Yeah, those are really cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> let us know what you guys' thoughts are on this trailer overall. This feels like it was one of those sleepers in the UK, like how Pitch Perfect was, where it was one of those sleepers and just became a massive hit on its own, but it's by word of mouth. I think that's how it was, probably in the UK. Um, and I'm thinking, you know, like I said, maybe it won't do as well in the US. If it does, that'd be fantastic, you know, because it seems like it's one of those heartfelt ones. Uh, but put down what you thought of this overall. Do you love these type of films, these heartfelt type of films, whether it's based on true story or not, you know, whether it's singing, dancing, or just maybe any other type of sort of entertainment-wise? Uh, let us know in the comments below. Um, do you have any favorites that stand out on your own? You know, and what stands out on their own for this one that will draw your attention overall? Mm -hmm. Let us know in the comments below what you thought of our reaction as well, but most importantly, Thank you for watching. So until next time, I'm Chris. I'm um, Chris. And this has been a very fisherman-filled episode of SRB. See ya. Later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out our previous reactions, or any one of our other SRB shows, check out one of our playlists down below. If you want to check us out in the social universe, you can find us on Twitter. And Stardust. At Super React Bros.